In Jeremiah chapter 31, verse 13. Jeremiah chapter 31, verse 13. Listen carefully. The Bible says, Then shall the virgin rejoice in the dance, both young men and the old together. For I will turn their money into joy, and will comfort them, and make them rejoice from their sorrow. May the Lord make you rejoice and be celebrated in Jesus' name. Shout these prayer points loud and clear. Say, every plan of the wicked to hijack my possessions, die in the name of Jesus. Every plan of the wicked to hijack my possessions, die, die, die in the name of Jesus. Every plan of the wicked to hijack my possessions, die, 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 die. In Jesus' name it is done. Amen. Hello viewers across the world. You are watching Evangelist Joshua TV. I believe that God Almighty will bless you after or during this program in Jesus' name. We are looking on a topic. If you see these dreams, then restoration has come. If you see these dreams, then restoration has come. I pray anything that devil or the enemy has stolen from you, you shall recover them back in the name of Jesus. You shall recover them back in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. If there's anything that makes a man, that makes a woman to be celebrated, to rejoice, to dance, to laugh, it is because restoration has come. If there's anything that makes a woman to celebrate, to be full of joy, wash out, it is because God has answered our prayers. If there's anything the devil has stolen from you, but you have been struggling to get that in back, it's as a result of wasters at work in your life. But if in your dream you discover that you possess or you gather some things in the realm of the spirit, know that restoration has come. There are dreams and there are dreams. There are dreams that indicate losses and there are dreams that indicate restoration. When you discover that in your dream, something very important, very precious to you was taken away from you, know that you have devourer, you have waster at work in your life. If in your dream you discover that someone gave you something or someone remembered you, restoration has come. You were in pain. You were worried, depressed, frustrated, and confused. You are saying, God, restore me. God, restore me. And finally, God answer your prayers by restoring you back. And from that restoration, you are happy. God restore your marriage. God restore your finances. God restore your academies. God restore your business. God restore your ministry. God restore your health. Something that will make you happy. Divine restoration is divine blessings. There are some dreams that indicate restoration. Once you see those dreams, then it indicates restoration has come or God is bringing his restoration to you. So what that means is that you need to prepare yourself. You need to increase the tempo or the level of your faith for you to receive the blessings of God that is coming. So when you have this kind of dream, know that the restoration of the Lord is coming to bless you in Jesus' name. Number one sign or dream that indicates restoration has come is someone wiped away your tears in the dream. Your tears were being wiped away in that dream then it showed that restoration has come. This means that God is sending or God will send someone into your life to wipe away your tears, to take away your reproach, to take away your problems because the tears in that dream represent something that caused depression, something that caused worry, something that caused frustration in your life. Then the person that wiped away your tears in that dream could be a representation or a symbolic of the angel or somebody very special that the Holy Spirit will send to bless you, to take you out from that problem. So when you discover that your tears were being wiped away in that dream, know that the restoration of the Lord has come or the restoration of God is coming to bless you in Jesus' name. Number two signs or dreams that indicate restoration has come is averting lots of crops in the dream. Averting lots of crops like maize, like mango, like oranges, like so many things in the dream. When you are investing, you are gathering your gains, your profit. Then crops in the dream represent blessings, represent prosperity, represent restoration, 
God has restored you. You have labored, 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 but you are gaining little or no results. But as a result of that dream, God is telling you as a child of God that he has restored you. What are those things you are believing God for? So, a very lot of crops in the dream show that God has settled your case. Show that God has answered your prayers in some areas of your life. Maybe in the areas of marriage, maybe in the areas of front of the womb, maybe in the areas of your business, maybe in the areas of your health, maybe in the areas of your ministry. God is settling your case, which means that uh, you are going to gather all. You are going to recover all. All. Because you are in your season of harvest. You are in your season of blessing. You are in your season of dancing. You are in your season of celebration. When you are harvesting any kinds of crops in the dream, any kinds, whether yam, whether anything, fruit or vegetable in the dream, know that God is about to answer your prayers. Know that good things is coming to bless you, to make you happy, you know, to, to trigger your mood positively. So when you are harvesting a lot of things in the dream, know that the Lord is about to take you out from that problem into abundance in Jesus' name. Number three, casting fish in the dream. You were casting fish, casting fish in the dream, casting fish in the dream. Those are signs of favor. Those are signs of success. Those are signs of achievement. Those are signs of restoration. Those are signs that something good is on its way to bless you. Those are signs of luck. Those are signs of fortune. Those are signs of pregnancy. Those are signs of children. Those are signs of good plans and projects. When you are catching fish in the dream, know that restoration is coming. Are you believing God for financial breakthrough? Are you believing God for a business breakthrough? Are you believing God for healing? Are you believing God for transformation? Are you believing God for growth in your life? Are you believing God for achievement? Are you believing God for healing? Catching fish in the dream signifies that God has set aside to bless you. God is making plan to restore you. God is making plan to make you rejoice, for you to recover all. God is doing something behind the scene that will bless you. When you are catching fish in a dream, if you have been praying, if you have been trusting God or praying to God for one particular thing or the other, that catching fish in a dream is to strengthen your faith, is to let you know that God is currently working on your case, that you should not give up. You should not give up in your problem. You should not give up trusting or believing in God for that problem, for a turnaround in your life. So when you are catching fish in a dream, know that something good is coming. It could come in the areas of wealth. It could come in areas of success achievement, prosperity, in the areas of something that you are believing God for. And by the grace of God, everything that you have lost, you shall recover them back in Jesus' name. Number four, someone returning to you what was stolen in the dream. Someone returning to you what was stolen in the dream. What was stolen in your dream? Is it your clothes? Is it your shoe? Is it your wedding gown? Is it your cap? Is it your wrapper? You know, is it your book? You know, is it a portal thing that was stolen from you in the dream and you saw that that particular person or someone else returned those things to you in the dream? Maybe a thief or an arm robber returned those things they have collected from you. Maybe like your bag, maybe like your answer was returned back to you. Know that restoration is coming. The dreams that indicate restoration is to tell you that something good is coming. It's to tell you that you should not give up in your prayer is to tell you that you should not get frustrated by the storm, by the trouble you are passing through at the moment. So this also means that somebody that has promised to help you, somebody that has promised to give you something, somebody that has promised, you know, to give you a particular thing or to favor you or to change your life. And so this dream just indicates that the promise that has failed in your life, that person that promised you, we begin to fulfill their promises. So it's a sign of divine remembrance. It's a sign of favor. What was stolen in the dream? What are those things that were stolen from you? But now you are struggling to get those things. So that dream just indicates restoration. I decree restoration of all the things that the devil has stolen from you in Jesus' name.
Number five, seeing ripe fruit on the tree in the dream. Seeing ripe fruit on the tree in the dream. Ripe fruit, ripe mango, ripe oranges, ripe purple, ripe cashew, ripe fruit on the tree in the dream. They are signs of abundance. They are signs of fruitfulness. They are signs of growth. They are signs of prosperity. They are signs of restoration. That dream is telling you that you are now in your season of fruitfulness. Many fruits on the tree is a sign that the plans and the promises of God for your life will surely come to pass in Jesus' name. So when you are seeing ripe fruit on the tree in the dream, know that God is about to bless you. God is about to prosper you. God is about to deliver that thing you have been praying for. And by the grace of God, you shall have them in Jesus' name. Number six, someone is giving you a surprise gift in the dream. A surprise gift in a dream. Like money, like clothes, like wedding ring, like flower, like water, like food items. Someone is giving you something that is so precious, important to you in the dream. Know that somebody is about to remember you. It could, it could also mean that God is sending someone into your life to bless you, to change your life to bring the good news of restoration into your life. When you see somebody giving you wonderful gifts like car key, like other things, know that restoration is coming. The restoration may not come in that area. The restoration can come in some other areas. So what that dream is telling you is that it's for you to keep praying for divine favor. Keep praying for destiny helper. Keep praying for people to remember you. As you begin to pray that prayer, then that dream is just like a confirmation of your prayer. That dream is just a confirmation that someone very important or someone that has promised to help you will surely help you, will surely support you, will surely assist you in one way or the other. So when you see somebody giving you something important to you in the dream, know that God has remembered you. And by the grace of God and by his mercy, may you be remembered in Jesus' name. Number seven, seeing darkness turned into light. Seeing darkness turned into into light is a sign of restoration. It's a sign of light. It's a sign of direction. It's a sign of joy. It's a sign of happiness. It's a sign of rejoicing. It's a sign of celebration. Darkness was a time of tribulation, was a time of storm in your life, but light has overshadowed the season of darkness in your life. So when you see darkness turned into light in the dream, know that restoration is coming to bless you. So whenever you see darkness, all of a sudden you saw light overshadowing darkness, know that something good is coming to bless you. And by the grace of God, whatsoever things you are believing God for, you shall get it in Jesus' name. Number eight, fetching water from the tap in the dream. Fetching water from the tap in the dream. The water that is coming from the tap in that dream is a representation of your blessing. The water that is gotten out from the tap in the dream is a sign of flourishing. The water that is gotten out from the tap in the dream is a symbol of cleansing. It's a symbol of purification. It's a symbol of healing. It's a symbol of peace. It's a symbol of transformation and breakthrough. So when you are seeing water gotten out from the tap and you were fetching it, those are signs of abundance. So which means that God is releasing his blessings upon your life. Could there be anything you are lacking presently? Could there be anything you are asking God for, but you are yet to get those things? What I've gotten out from the tap is a sign or confirmation that God is about to bless you. God is about to answer your prayers. God is about to do that thing you have been expecting of him. And as, as you are facing that water, it means you are going to possess all. You are going to recover all in Jesus' name. Number nine, seeing rain falling in the dream. Rain falling in the dream. Rain signifies open doors. Rain signifies open heaven. Rain signifies divine remembrance, favor, and abundance. When you are seeing rain falling, it's a sign of your growth. It's a sign of comfort. It's a sign of peace. It's a sign of restoration. So when rain is falling, know that restoration is coming. During the time of dry season, the plant always struggle to grow. 
But during the time of rainy season, the plant will grow, the tree will grow. They'll begin to produce wonderful fruits, wonderful leaves in the rainy season. Why? Because the rain is that thing that can give a plant power to grow, to be fruitful, to enlarge. So when you are seeing rain falling in the dream, it means that God is about to transform your life. God is about to change your story. And by the grace of God, your story shall be changed for good in Jesus' name. Number 10 dreams or signs that indicate restoration is coming is your head is anointed with oil. Your head is anointed with oil. Your head is anointed, which means restoration is coming. Your head attracts favor. Your head attracts mercy. Your head attracts the glory of God. Your head attracts help from men. When anointing come upon your head by the servant of God, know that the blessings of the Lord is coming to stay in your life. So when you are anointed, so when you have been anointed, know that you are going to receive something very spectacular, something very wonderful. So which means that eh, the Holy Spirit has anointed you to do exploit. The Holy Spirit has anointed you to do greater things. The Holy Spirit has anointed you to be favored. The Holy Spirit has anointed you for people to help you. The Holy Spirit has anointed you for every barrier, every obstacle in your life to be over. The Holy Spirit has anointed you for you to do wondrous things in life. And so shall it be. And good things shall be attracted to you in Jesus' name. And by the grace of God, you shall recover all. You shall recover all. Your physical blessings, your spiritual blessings, you shall possess them in the name of Jesus Christ. Those lost, those challenges you are passing through now, the Lord Almighty will take them away and you shall be made whole. You shall be celebrated. You shall rejoice in the Lord. You shall dance your dance in the name of Jesus Christ. What the enemy is using to fight you, the Lord Almighty will silence them in Jesus' name. Close your eyes. Take this prayer point number one. Say, I recover back all my stolen blessings in the name of Jesus. I recover back all my stolen blessings in the name of Jesus. I recover back all my stolen blessings in Jesus' name. Two, I recover back my joy and happiness in the name of Jesus. I recover back my joy and happiness in the name of Jesus. I recover back my joy and happiness in Jesus' name. Three, power to recover all. Locate me now in the name of Jesus. Power to recover all. Locate me now. Locate me now in the name of Jesus. Power to recover all. Locate me now. Locate me now. Locate me now. Locate me now. Power to recover all. Locate me now in Jesus' name. Four. O Lord, renew my strength and favor me. In the name of Jesus. O Lord, renew my strength and favor me. Renew my strength and favor me. In Jesus' name it is done. Amen. I pray the Lord Almighty will restore everything that concerns you in Jesus' name. If this broadcast has blessed you, share to your friends and family. Once again, this is Evangelist Joshua Oreke. God bless you.